Crypto mining, exploring the process of mining crypto, the equipment needed, and the potential rewards. When cryptocurrency mining reached its height, it was an arms race that drove up demand for GPUs, or graphics processing units. Indeed, as demand for advanced micro devices stock surged and shares reached their highest level in a decade, the GPU manufacturer reported stellar financial results. Nonetheless, mining cryptocurrency can still be lucrative. Then, what is cryptocurrency mining? Is it allowed? And how can one begin? These questions are examined in more detail in this article. When a member spends cryptocurrency, just like with real money, the digital ledger needs to be updated by crediting one account and debiting the other. The problem with digital currencies, though, is that they may be easily manipulated on internet networks. Therefore, only validated miners are able to update transactions on the digital ledger using Bitcoin's distributed ledger. Because of this, miners now have an additional duty to protect the network against double spending. To compensate miners for their efforts in maintaining network security, new currencies are created in the meantime. Transaction validation is mostly dependent on the mining process because distributed ledgers do not have a central authority. As a result, miners are motivated to safeguard the network by taking part in transaction validation, which raises their chances of winning freshly created coins. To guarantee that transactions can only be mined and validated by confirmed crypto miners, a proof of work POW, consensus system has been implemented. POW also protects the network from outside threats. Evidence of work Mining cryptocurrencies is comparable to mining precious metals. Crypto miners will cause new coins to enter circulation, whereas precious metal miners will find gold, silver, or diamonds. Miners must set up devices that use cryptographic hashes to solve difficult mathematical equations in order to be rewarded with fresh currencies. A hash is a cryptographic signature of a piece of data that has been shortened. To safeguard data exchanged on a public network, hashes are created. In a race against one another, Miners try to determine the hash value produced by a cryptocurrency transaction. The first miner to solve the puzzle wins the reward and gets to add the block to the ledger. Every block forms an uninterrupted chain of blocks that leads back to the first block by using a hash function to refer to the previous block. This makes it simple for peers on the network to confirm the validity of individual blocks and if the miners that confirmed each block correctly solved the hash to get the reward. As miners use increasingly sophisticated equipment to solve POW, the network's equations become more challenging over time. The competition among miners intensifies concurrently, leading to a rise in the scarcity of cryptocurrency. Starting a cryptocurrency's mining procedure. Computers with specialized software created to solve challenging cryptographic mathematical equations are needed for cryptocurrency mining. Early on in the history of the technology, a home computer's basic CPU chip could be used to mine cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. However, because most cryptocurrencies are becoming more difficult to mine, CPU chips are no longer a viable option. As of right now, mining cryptocurrencies needs an application-specific integrated circuit, ASIC, miner, or a specialized GPU. Furthermore, a dependable internet connection is a requirement for the GPUs and the mining equipment at all times. It is mandatory for any cryptocurrency miner to be a part of an online mining pool. Various techniques for mining cryptocurrencies. The time needed to mine cryptocurrency varies depending on the method used. For instance, in the early days of the technology, CPU mining was the preferred method for most miners. But with the high cost of electricity and cooling, the increased difficulty in mining, and the fact that it takes months to make even a tiny return, Many people find CPU mining to be too slow and unfeasible nowadays. Another technique for mining cryptocurrencies is GPU mining. It combines several GPUs into a single mining rig to optimize processing power. A motherboard and cooling system are necessary for GPU mining on the equipment. In a similar vein, ASIC mining is an additional cryptocurrency mining technique. ASIC miners generate more cryptocurrency units than GPU miners since they are made expressly to mine cryptocurrencies. 
but because they are costly, they soon become outdated as mining complexity rises. ASIC and GPU mining are getting more and more expensive, hence cloud mining is gaining popularity. Individual miners can take advantage of the strength of large companies and specialized crypto mining facilities through cloud mining. Crypto miners on their own can rent a mining equipment for a predetermined period of time and find both paid and free cloud mining hosts online. The best hands-free way to mine cryptocurrency is with this method. Quarrying Pits By pooling their computer power, miners can enhance their odds of discovering and extracting blocks from a blockchain. In proportion to the resources that each miner contributed to the pool, the reward is divided among the miners in a successful mining pool. The majority of cryptocurrency mining programs include a mining pool, but fans can now form their own online mining pools by getting together. Miners are free to switch pools anytime necessary because certain pools get higher payouts than others. Because legitimate crypto mining pools receive regular technical assistance and frequent upgrades from their host firms, miners view them as more dependable. CryptoCompare is the finest resource for finding mining pools. Here, miners may evaluate several mining pools according to their dependability, profitability, and the coin they wish to mine. Is it valuable to mint bitcoins? The value of mining cryptocurrency is dependent on a number of variables. The hash rate, power consumption, and total costs of the mining rig are the most crucial variables for potential miners to take into account, regardless of whether they decide to use a CPU, GPU, ASIC, or cloud mining solution. Crypto mining equipment typically produces a lot of heat and uses a lot of electricity. To produce one Bitcoin, for example, a typical ASIC miner will need roughly 72 terawatts of power in 10 minutes. As mining gets more difficult and technology develops, these numbers keep changing. While the machine's price is crucial, other factors to take into account are cooling costs, local electricity costs, and electricity consumption especially when using GPU and ASIC mining rigs. When deciding if mining a cryptocurrency will even be viable, it's crucial to take into account how tough the cryptocurrency is to mine. The implications of crypto mining on taxation. Taxation on cryptocurrency mining is still a crucial factor to take into account. Tax repercussions typically arise for cryptocurrency miners in two situations, when they receive payment in cryptocurrencies for their work, and when they exchange or sell the reward tokens. The IRS has published Notice 2014-21, which specifically covers the tax ramifications of cryptocurrency mining. With regard to When a miner receives reward tokens, they are required by the notice to record gross revenue in an amount equal to the coin's fair market value at the time of receipt. Furthermore, the reward tokens slash virtual currency payments are considered self-employment income and are therefore subject to self-employment taxes if the taxpayer's mining activities are considered a trade or business or if the taxpayer performs such services as an independent contractor. Similarly, payments provided in cryptocurrency to a taxpayer who works as an employee and mines cryptocurrency are considered wages and are subject to unemployment, social security, and Medicare taxes being withheld from federal income tax. See taxation of crypto mining for a more thorough examination of the tax ramifications of crypto mining. See charitable remainder unit trusts, CRUTs, and cryptocurrencies, taxation of crypto margin trading, and estate planning and cryptocurrency for resources related to crypto tax planning. Further information regarding IRS voluntary disclosures for gains in Bitcoin that were previously unreported may be found at the IRS's voluntary disclosure practice. Is it legal to mine Bitcoins? Since most nations have not yet passed legislation pertaining to cryptocurrencies, it is still uncertain if mining cryptocurrencies is lawful in most of them. Crypto miners may be governed by rules pertaining to money transmitters, as defined by the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, FinCEN. For example, cryptocurrency mining is regarded as a company in Israel and is liable to corporate income tax. Regulating uncertainty still exists in India and other places, despite the US and Canada seeming to be supportive to cryptocurrency mining. However, very few nations forbid cryptocurrency mining with the exception of those that have explicitly outlawed activities connected to cryptocurrencies. 
A summary of the legal position of cryptocurrencies in every nation with legislative or regulatory regulations governing them can be found on our Freeman Law Cryptocurrency Law Resource page. Conclusion Curiosity and a burning desire to learn are prerequisites for anyone hoping to work as a crypto miner. The world of cryptocurrency mining is always evolving as new technologies are developed. The most successful professional miners are those who are continuously researching the area and refining their mining techniques to increase efficiency. So this is the end of our today's video. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.